Hey, what's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Uh, we're picking up pretty much exactly where we let, uh, left off with the other, um, with the previous part of both the review of the Sea of Ghosts mod and Quest for the Crown. Um, and, uh, basically, now we're trying to find a door. Um, yeah, it, um, so yeah, what we're uh, here to do, if you're new to the Quest for the Crown series, is basically to find some gold to become kings of Riverhelm. We're going to buy a mine within the um, within the sea first. Uh, where can you find Riverhelm? Because it's not obviously in the vanilla game. Well, you can find it on the uh, you can find it on the Skyrim Nexus. Um, uh, put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, so we're, so it costs like fifty thousand gold to become king of Riverhelm, and it also costs fifty thousand to buy a mine in the city. So it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, so we were here, and uh, basically traveled to the Tower of Bethams here in the Sea of Ghosts, which is another mod. That I'm also reviewing at the same time. But yeah, we're here to um, go on a quest and see if we can find any money here. Um, and in the last part, if you watch that, you'll remember that I was having trouble finding the door. And I found it uh, once when I wasn't recording, but I forgot I forgot it again, so I'd, <laughs> I still don't know where it is. Although there's a rowboat here, and I think this is where we were. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Tower of Bethans. Now this wasn't where we start out the part, uh, but anyway. So yeah, let's go in. Okay. Oh, I forgot about these guys. They are badass. I mean, I forgot they were here. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, there you are. That's nice and stealthy way I like it. But there's another one. Crap. Ah. Where's, where's my arrow? Just... I like to retrieve my... There it is. I like to retrieve my arrows when I can... You know, so I don't lose all of them. Um, but yeah, so this is a little bit of a College of Winterhold style staircase. I think we... Uh, no. Oh. Uh, I'm going to try not to piss this guy off. Is someone there? Never mind. Okay, that... That was a glitch. Come on! Ah. String the bow. Thank you. Die! Hmm. Okay. So... Eight torches. I don't know why you'd have eight torches. And a potion of my Two potions of minor healing. I think I'll take one. Yeah. Good, so I'm not, uh, I'm not over-encumbered. I thought I would be. Um, so what do we have here? Um, we've got an inkwell, a quill, and a journal. I heard yesterday that a Moor ship was spotted broken on the treacherous rocks of the shallows east of here. I always warned him that placing speed over caution would end badly at sea. With Argoth missing nearly 30 days now, I've little hope of his return either. Looks like I'm the only one left to, left of the old crew. I will ha I'll have to collect their keys at some stage the next time I need to raise some money by selling off more of that old Akaviri equipment from the Dragon Guard outpost. Not now, though. I have work to do. Lorbers, er, Lorbers, er. <laughs> what a name. 
<laughs> okay. Lorber's Earl will take will take care of the crew while I'm busy here. The Dwimmer's methods of using water and steam to power these machines is quite ingenious. So much so that even I can't quite fathom how they do it. Um, I'm hopeful though. If I can solve the mystery, the mysteries of this place, I think I can make use of this technology on the ship. Using the water to somehow provide propulsion for the ship would revolutionize everything. No more reliance on wind and weather. We would never go hungry again. I, I've worked. I have to work carefully, though. If I disturb the machines too much, well. Let's just say I've seen what dwarven constructs can do to an elf. So they're basically looking to build this, uh, this uh, ship like a jet ski almost. Wonder what's in this chest. One, one ebony ingot. <laughs> You're kidding me. This one ebony, one ebony ingot. Uh, that was a pointless chest. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, looks like they were trying that they were thinking about building that ship a little bit like a jet ski. You know, where it takes water in one side and pushes it out the other. Um tankards, plates, sacks, large sacks, cabbage. Hmm. Is that it? Hmm, little hot pool here. So, that can't be it. Like, that literally cannot be just it for the Tower of Bethams. Hmm. I wonder what's over here. I don't think we've explored this area up close. Could be something else interesting. No, it's just... Hmm. Well, that sucks. That was a total waste of our time. Hmm. Shame, really. Climb that ladder. See where else we can go. He wants a bed of boots. Okay. Uh, uh, why not? A uh, bed of boots. Smuggler's meat. Uh, secluded isle. And Seastone Islands. Um, I'm trying to think of... I don't think we've... I think we may have been to Rocky Shallows before. Maybe wrong. We've definitely been to Telbranis. Uh, Ajald Island, I think we've been there. We're right here. Uh, no, that's not... It. Smuggler's Meat. Okay, here we go. Smuggler's Meat. Wonder what could possibly be in store at Smuggler's Meat. Oh, shit. Well, they, uh... <laughs> that was, that was, uh... That was immediate. Thank you, you're dead. Oh god, I hope they don't kill everyone. That would really suck. Oh fuck. Oof. Good good thing he's uh, good thing he's essential. Kill the Corsair. Oh no 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 shit. That's not what I meant to do. Oof. Okay, there's another Corsair. Come on. Die! Oh no, that wasn't a Corsair. Shit, they must be up on that, uh, that, yeah, dead straight ahead. Oh, this is, this is exciting. We've got another one over here, it looks like. Where are you? Ah. Damn it, I wish you could fight underwater. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to fight underwater. Skyrim! Seriously, why'd they not implement that? Okay, so there's really no hiding. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ah, shit. They're not hitting for much, but... 
It's more than nothing. Come on. Is there any way we can get up on here? Can we get up here? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Cooking with fire. Come on, jump, jump. Thank you. Man, this is really intense here. Will you now? There's no hiding at all. I can tell you right now I'm going to have to suck down these health potions. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm dealing with them pretty effectively. But their archers are really deadly. <sighs> okay. That's the brunt of them. Just a couple more now. Two over here. And you, you're the last one on the ship, but you can ninja. That doesn't matter. Okay. So, oh shit. They insta-kill me. How'd that happen? How did that happen? I was on full health. I was on, I'm pretty sure I was on full health. Well, whatever. We're back here again? You're shitting me. Why did it not save? It doesn't matter. We'll have to go deal with the Corsairs again. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Let me look at my options. Uh, settings. Gameplay. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got save on a uh, save on travel activated, and I what did I change? I didn't change anything. Uh, no, I didn't. Thought I thought I only changed when I saved. But anyway, so I, so I'll have to deal with the corsairs again, which sucks. There's only really one f a bed of boots. I still don't get it. Damn it! Yes, yes, that was my roommate. Shit. Wait, we didn't. That that wasn't where we were. Yeah, sorry about the interruption. That was my roommate. In any case, I've already thought I've already shot 13 minutes worth of footage, so I'm not gonna restart it. Smuggler's meat. There we go. Okay, so there really isn't much of a strategy. You just sort of fight. Ah, uh, come on. That's my other roommate. I've got two of them. Yeah. It's not exact. This isn't exactly a good sort of apartment. Okay. Are you going to attack me? Ah, oh, shit. I'm out of stamina. <sighs> Okay, D just picking them off. Ah, shit. Uh, I was detected there for a second. Okay, that was a good shot. Uh, I think this was the guy who fell into the water. Mm. Take you out. Was that an old lady? I believe it was an old lady. Uh, okay. He thought he saw me there for a second because he was kind of looking in my direction. And that's it for this, for that group. So, oh. 
you know, it wouldn't have been a good idea to go ahead and take those guys out, but fortunately I'm an Argonian, so I'm going to have to keep fairly close to the water, uh, fairly close to the surface of the water. How do they see me? Is that a ramp? How does he see me? How on earth does that guy see me? Oh shit. That was close. I'm gonna have to... M you know what? It would be a good idea to save. I just thought of that. It would be a good idea to save there. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Uh, till we find a way up onto here. Can I shout? That would be really cool if I could shout in water. What do I have equipped? Unrelenting force. Fuck you. I can't shout in water? That's bullshit. Yes, I sort of was. Ah, uh, fuck. There's no place to get up on here. Fuck balls. Ah, uh, just keep moving, just keep moving. Let's keep moving. Smaller target. Fuck, Carjo. Where are you? Dude, I, I seriously need you right about now. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on. Up onto here. Fuck, don't go into hiding. Just go. I'm going to have to get those guys down off of that ramp. And then... Okay, that arrow just no clips straight through that guy. Whew. Okay, we're 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 in we're on good ground. Tell Ruth Lean that who what? Tell Ruth what? Ah. Uh, Tell Ruthleen that Barathos is dead. Oh shit. Still got archers. I'm gonna have to camp out here. And. Oh, they see me. Come on, boys. I got cover and you don't. Oh, I certainly can. I'm doing it right now. Oh. That was stupid. Okay, there we go. Got him. Can we get? Can we get him? Can we get? Uh, no, he's moving. I really wish that smoke effect didn't come off my skin. Fuck. Oh, I shouldn't have gone out to sneak. What the fuck? Ah, come on. Ah. I really hope they don't just insta-kill me with those fucking arrows. Uh. Okay, I might need to get closer. Straight ahead. Got him. And two more. He's just gonna stand there like a fool. And where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're stupid. Just sort of standing there. What's up with the uh, NPCs in Skyrim just standing? Okay, I'm gonna... Tell Ruthleen that... 
recover Argos key to Dragon Guard Outpost and recover Amar's key to Dragon Guard Outpost. Hmm. No, no new quests. It's just there's a. Yeah. Okay. It was just a friggin'. Wow. So it didn't even. It literally didn't even. Didn't even have a quest. It was just. A friggin' random quest stage that I got out of friggin' thin air, apparently. Okay. Whatever. So we got two more hostiles. And that's it, pretty much, for this area. Um, okay, I'm going to cast Detect Life and see exactly where they are in the water. Is it an alteration? Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay, so, Frost. Just right there. Okay, and I believe the other one is right there. Um, my magic is going up really slow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Detect Life again. Okay, right there. No problem. Ooh, okay. So we got them. And any more? Is there okay, closed, a ruined book, and some other stuff that we don't really need. Hmm. <sighs> well, that was a, that was a good fight. Whew. Really had me on my toes. Jump up. There we go. This is a really good mod. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, so, I get back to the ship with the boarding par party on it. Um, can we go over here? Yeah. There we go. And then that's... The ladder's on the other side. Okay. So, it really doesn't look like... There's much uh, to this quest, though. Um. Um. Rithlin. No Rithlin. Okay. So, anyway, on to our next destination, which was Secluded Isle. Looking forward to this. It sounds pretty cool. Um, okay, Secluded Isle. Ooh, looks nice. Oh, ooh, looks very nice. Yay, civilization! Secluded Isle. Hmm. What is in Secluded Isle? I mean, we've got a house here. Um, is that it? Just a house? Yeah, they uh, mentioned something about a player home in the mod description. This must have been what they meant. And I've got a goat who's afraid of me. Yeah. Where are you? 
chase the goat. I'm a lizard and I'm chasing a goat, chasing a goat, chasing a goat. I'm a lizard and I'm chasing a goat, chasing a goat, chasing a goat. Uh, can you go in water? Who are you? I'm going to try to not piss you off. Argoth? Argoth, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! We've, we've got... We, this is Argoth. We're going to recover his key and fist fight. I don't want to uh, detect life. No, thank you. Go away! There we go. Just fist now. Damn, you're a boss. I still hit for more than him, but just barely. The, yeah, come on. Die! Die! Die, 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 die! Yeah! Just a scratch, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're doing good on him. We are really mauling this guy. I wonder if we can do finishers on ghosts. Am I out of stamina or did my character just choose not to respond there for a second? Kill this guy, kill him! This reminds me of Minecraft a little. How you just sort of hammer weight the button until whatever's in front of you is dead. Come on. Except in Mo Minecraft, I think you can... I don't know, I don't have the game itself. I think you can, uh... But I think you can block... Well... Meleeing in Minecraft? Maybe wrong on that. Uh... Oh, shit! Jesus, that hurt. Okay, good. What? You're shitting me. Oh, he's got a fucking pair of pants. Seriously, a fucking pair of pants. <sighs> okay, this key must, must be in the house. This must have been his old, uh, his old residence. It's gotta be in the house. Please be in the house. Please be in the house. Probably a good idea to save here before going to this interior because you never know about interiors and mods and not. They might crash the game. Okay, so we've got all of this. I don't see a key yet. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. Who's this? A hat, butterfly wing, cowl, empty wine bottle, but no key. Also, this house must have the worst leak in the world. Who's that? Oh, it's just dust particles. Chest. Two deer hides in a cast iron spot and black robes, no key. In table? Nine gold. Alto wine. This is the guy's place! Where's the key? I killed the guy! All he had was a fucking pair of pants! Uh, there's literally nothing in here. You know what? We should have gotten this key by now. Don't you think? Uh, so, uh... 
I really don't. Well, maybe it's under this table. Could be under. No, it's not under the table. Maybe it fell through the level. Ah, uh, maybe we should read that journal. I do not know when. I do not know when it was this. When it was this bothy was built. Bothy. As long as I can remember, it has been it has been here uninhabited on the uninhabited on these secluded and solitary isles. I used to come here as a child. My father was a fisherman from a small village near North Point. We used to come here in the months when the sea was most calm. We would fish and swim in the surrounding waters for days. When the war came with the old, when the war with the old Mary took my eldest son. My wife succumbed to the grief and passed away in the following second seed. After this, I had no connection to the people around me. I felt no reason to stay in High Rock and could not bear the burden, could not B-A-R-E the burden, of living in what used to be our family home. I came here to get away. I don't know if I intended to stay at first, but I could never bring myself to leave. It's so peaceful here. I, I can grow some small plants in the rough soil, and the fish and small animals around the islands provide enough food to sustain me. I've been here for two months now, today being the first... M I've never been sure on how I pronounced Midas, Midas and Morning Star by my reckoning. In 4E179, 179, and I have started to explore the islands further, though many of their features are embedded in my head as memories from my childhood. The exploration is as much a reliving of my past as it is a discovery of anything new. On the island to the south stand six ancient pillars, could they possibly have the key? They must have been erected hundreds if not thousands of years ago. There's no hint of early Nordic styling that would have been that would be expected in burial tombs or altars in this area. There doesn't even seem to be any markings from tools or carvings of any sort. I guess I can only guess at what ancient people built this circle. At Morns, probably. And for what purpose? When I was young, I remember running in and running in and out of the stones, and my father chasing me, making a game of it. I cared not why they were built then, but now their mystery enthralls me and sets, uh, sets my imagination spinning webs of stories and tales about these ancient cultures so unknown to me. There's little interest on other island. There's little of interest on other islands. The, although I travel there in my small boat every now and again, their beaches are pristine and calming places, looking out into the endless sea of ghosts. This is a good place to spend my remaining years. I do not think, though, I do not think that I have many left. At least what time I have will be spent in peace. That's a good way to go. So, uh, I don't know. If these, if these, ah, uh, what's this? I didn't notice the shelf up here. The bucket doesn't have anything in it. Um, a tankard garlic. Um, Nothing? Uh, okay. But he does have imp stool growing in his house for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, sit on the... Oh, oh. So, could it be on that shelf, I wonder? Uh, clothes iron. Blue butterfly wing. Yep, I'm the best balancer in the world. 
Uh, blue butterfly wing. Anything? A ruined book, wooden plates. But nothing at all of interest. Well, if I ever need another house to add on to my uh, 50 houses I already have, I'll be sure to pay that a visit. There, yeah, I don't know what, where in the world that goat thinks he's going to run to. Two of them? Huh. Hmm. So these stones, could we possibly uncover the significance accidentally? I don't know. Uh... But this part is already 35 gigabytes. Uh, so, read engraved stone. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a part here. What do you think this engraved stone could uh, could have in store for us? We shall see in the next part. Uh, so yeah. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and everything. And the links to the mods that I discussed in this video will be in the description below. So, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next part. GP75 out.